Hey guys, I'm Dimension Jump. Today I'll be doing my top 5 least favourite Super Mario Galaxy 2 bosses. Now, um, like with uh, Mario Galaxy 1, you can find a variety of um, bosses in the game, whether that's the Grand Star bosses or regular star bosses. And in today's video, I'll be going over some of the bosses in Mario Galaxy 2 that I feel like aren't really fun or I just don't really like when it, when, when it comes to uh, fighting them. So to start off with this number 5 is Pee Wee Piranha. Now Pee Wee, Pee -wee Piranha is like, I believe the very first boss um, you fight in the game and this is kind of like um, the other pir piranha type boss in the first Galaxy game but instead of trying to hit its tail um, you basically have to hit its um, backside and it's walking about all over the place and I think every time you hit it it, it goes faster and this isn't really fun in terms of when you compare both um, Pee Wee Piranha and I believe P.T. Piranha um, or I don't know, I don't remember the other Piranha's name I'm just although I remember it's like it's a giant Piranha and the reason why I put I thought I would say I prefer the other Piranha type boss in Galaxy One over Pee Wee Piranha is because at least with um, the first one it's got a tail to, to, to hit and, and at least with the fiery version of it it goes it goes on and off fire and you have to time your attacks uh, when you come to that particular boss but with Pee Wee Piranha it's just oh it's just, it's just a Piranha on all four legs just running about and it's still got its shell intact. That's pretty much it, and I would it would have been, I think it would be a lot cooler if it could have it's a, it, uh, as long as well as you know running about the plant that plant that you want, it could have maybe some other attacks maybe, um, or something like that. Maybe it could summon like some vines to attack Mario or hit him with, um, but yeah, I just it is a it's a real pain to try and hit him. At least with the other Piranha boss, even though it's a pain, f uh, uh, more specifically for the um, fire version to try and hit his tail. At least that's somewhat fun, in my opinion. So yeah, for number four is Glamdozer. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, and this boss is basically a giant thing. I have no idea what what this boss is. It's just a giant monster in space thing. And for what I remember, it's it, it, the only way to hit it. It's like with, I think, one of the other bosses in Galaxy 1. You have to, you have to try and hit its stomach. And the only way to do that is to um, use the grates that are scattered around the um, sort of planet they do on to your advantage. And this kind of can, this can get annoying sometimes because as soon as... Um, you flip on over to the to one of the other sides. Um, the glam dozer will automatically just rush over to the to the to the side you're on. And also, I think on the final phase of the fight, it can also spew out um, lava balls, and these can cover um, the so, um, some of the grates depending on which direction the attacks are going towards, and. Those can get annoying as well as well as you know maybe sometimes um, when you're trying to attack um, your attacks might miss or something like that and yeah it's not it's really really annoying and it's just one of those places I just it, it, it just you know I, I try and um, just try and get through it as fast as I can because this boss is really annoying when it comes to just um, when I when I go to try and get a star. For number three is Squizzard. Now Squizzard um, is a is a really annoying boss, but mainly because uh, of two things: one, the fire flower, and two, the arena that you're in when you fight Squizzard. Uh, so to start off with, with the fire flower, um, this this is um, both Mario Galaxy one and two are one of the few occasions where not only the fire flower but also the ice flower is on a timer those are like one of the few i think the only two games uh in the mario series where where those two items instead of just staying on mario for like until he gets hit are timed and that can be quite annoying and also for the boss arena that you're in um not only this uh, quicksand 
but Squizzard also um, th has the can can throw giant sand balls towards you, and this can be very annoying, especially on the um, Daredevil run, um, Comet Star um, version of the fight, because you cannot get hit by any of the attacks when it comes to that particular star, and if you die, if you if you do get hit, you have to start the entire fight again and again. And you try and aim for Squizzard's mouth whenever he attacks, and that can be really annoying because you have to focus on where the attacks are coming from, and where, when to time your own attacks, and when it, when it, when he's going to open his mouth for you to attack him. And it's very annoying. And I and again, like with the previous um, uh, previous uh, uh, Glamdoza, um, it, 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 I, I I I just try and. Um, go as fast as I can to try and get the star um, for this particular boss. For number two is Fiery Gobblegut. Now Fiery Gobblegut is kind of like the fiery version of the Piranha from uh, Galaxy 1 um, but a lot more annoying because with Fiery Gobblegut um, it acts pretty much like regular Gobblegut but it's on fire obviously and um, whenever you go. He he tries to. You go and try to attack Gobblegut. Um, whenever he does his dive attack, um, a lot of the time, from what I remember, I always got hit. Or any time before I tried to attack, I always get hit um, from the fire. And this is probably really annoying. At least with the um, fire um, piranha in Galaxy One. At least with that one, you could time. Your attacks, and again, this is also another time thing. It's just a lot more annoying, and you have to try and focus on when you're going to attack um, Gobble Guts' um, giant pink ball things that are covered on its body. And yes, it's not only it's not only fun, and it, especially when the planet that you're on is quite small, so there's like little room for error when it comes to trying to attack Gobblegut. And for number one is Sorbetti. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And this is basically a giant planet. Oh, it's basically a, not a giant planet. Basically, this giant snowball thing with a face. And yeah, this, is, this is, isn't really that fun, I would say, because just because it's just, oh, it just, it's, I think you're trying to attack the the nose on its face, and it just goes around the planet planet that you're on, and I just don't like this much because I remember a lot of the times I just got hit and 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 all I've, it just rolls around the planet randomly, and all you have to do is just try and attack the nose, and I'm not a really big fan. It's just it's not really fun. It's just uh, I don't remember if it's got any other attacks. Besides, oh, just rolling about the planet or on the planet that you're on, and yeah, it's, I, I would I would have liked it if it had some, maybe some more attacks. Maybe it has um similar to Baron Burn. Maybe it has a shockwave attack. I'm I'm not 100 percent sure. It has been a while since I've played Galaxy Two, but yeah, so Betty is not a really fun boss. It's just annoying. It's just there, and and. and yeah, so yeah, that, it's not only really fun. So that's been my top 5 least favorite Super Mario Galaxy 2 bosses. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And until the next video.